let us continue over here and the next step that we would like to do is we want to add a button navigation so later we'll have a lot of uh, pages over here on this screen so if you want to navigate it we need to have some kind of navigation so for that i'll just create a button navigation to navigate easily so i'll just go to the uh, center and i guess after this i can create a button navigation bar and the button uh, nav bar and i need to provide the items over here and that items are the list right okay so we got the list and i can just say a uh, button nav bar item and i need to provide the icon over here it says uh, let me arrange it icon and i need to provide the icon and then that should be of a icon store let's say our home okay and let me make this one as a const so after that i will have a label and in the label i just call it as a home too so let me duplicate this and let's say we have a four for now four right and that should be fine and let's change the home let's say later we will have a home and let's say a student and let's say a teacher and let's say a bank over here and the icon i'll just call it as a money that should be okay money and this one for the teacher person and that should be also a I guess it should be also a person P R S O N okay okay what happened over here okay that's fine so now we have a button navigation and what we also need to do is uh, on tab we have to add a value that we are getting and once we have that value we need to update some value right and also we need to have a current index to uh, just give us as an index and we don't have this index so we need to create it so let's go on to the top and create the int index and the default value of the zero so once we got that and what we need to do is we need to increment it whenever we tap that particular tab bar or the button navigation right so what we have to do is we have to set the state set the state and update the current state of the index that we have is equals to the value that we are getting so this will update the state and rebuild our ui so we have that and the next step for this one is to add some more formatting over here so let's see our background color let's add the background color to the color start the deal i think that should be fine and also let's say a uh, selected icon color item color i think that should be item color selected item color color start the white should be fine and then if the unselected item color is there unselected item color so what we will set it as a color start the till ascent i think that should be fine and also we will just so uh, so the selected items level to just it true uh, sorry why did i make it try so t r u e true right and also for the so unselected items label to true so we just want to show the labels and also we will just make this as a type and also pass in the type button navigation bar button navigation bar type is here type that the fixed and i guess that should be fine okay so let me rerun the application okay we got our button navigation 
now we can just click on it so we just need to add our screens over here right so for that we need to create a multiple screen and here what we need to create is uh let's create a final pages and which is of equals to the list of the pages that we have to pass in and here the center body i can remove it and i can pass the pages that we have and pass in the index of the particular pages so currently we don't have any pages over here we need to create that pages so for that i'll just create a page over here and i'll just create a new file and create a home that the uh, sorry home on home underscore page dot the dot file so here i'll create a stateless or uh, stateful let's create a stateful widget and i'll just say home home screen and let's define let us import the flutter material package and okay that should be fine and just the container so i'll just say a color and see our color start the let's see uh, green and we have make it as a const over here so let me duplicate this one so just call sorry not the rename i need to duplicate this copy and paste it over here so let's say another one we need to have this one need to be of the not the home so let's say this is of a student right student screen so let me rename all of my screen over here and here too and here okay and this seems to be some different color and that's fine right and uh, then i have, will have uh, another one to rename this is as a student underscore that should be of a page that dot file okay so we got two pages we need to create a two more just hold on to it we need to create a two more page and this will be of the teacher dot the teacher underscore page teacher underscore page dot the dot file and I have to rename this one to to teacher sorry should be of a caps okay teacher screen so that should be fine and just pass it over here and I need to rename this one to and that's the green to so let's just pass it as a red and finally i need to have one more right so just copy it and paste it over here and that's let's say uh, rename this one to we have a bank right so bank underscore phg page the dot file and i'll rename this one to the bank page or the bank screen a bank page whatever name you want to give it so just rename all of this stuff and we are good to go okay so now we'll just call give a different color and let's go to the our mender file and here is the ones that we have to add so const and then we have a home screen and then we have a, let me duplicate this one two three four times three and the four right okay so we got a home screen second one is of the student screen and third one will be of a teacher screen and the bank screen so we got that all of those and let me restart okay so we got and when we click on it so now we are navigating to the different pages so that's all for this lesson and on the next lecture i think we will be able to start our box so we'll create a box on the the um the hype box and we'll get started like how to read and write to that particular box so let's meet up in the next lecture till then have a great day